Hi guys, I am Raymond from Best Fruits in Jamaica. Welcome back to another of my video. In this video, I will discuss how the dragon fruit in my own garden gave a 300% increase in the amount of fruits produced for the 2022 crop after an extremely bright LED street lamp was installed at a distance of 33 feet or 10.06 meters from my dragon fruit post. Before I begin, I would like to thank all my subscribers and if you are watching my video for the first time, please take a second to subscribe. I also want to thank those who tap on the like button on each of my video. Not to forget those who comment and share them with their friends. During the COVID-19 lockdown in April 2020, I planted a post of dragon fruit in my own garden in a small space that was only large enough for a dragon fruit post. Dragon fruits are loved by many people and it is fast becoming a favorite of the world's population. Because of their low calories, rich fiber and mineral content, this fruit is now considered as healthy food for the table. When ripe, dragon fruit has a mildly sweet flavor, often described as a blend of pear and kiwi and a soft texture similar to a ripe kiwi. Though people primarily enjoy it for its unique look and taste, evidence now suggests that they may provide health benefits as well. Dragon fruit plants normally flower when the days are long and the nights are short, routinely between June to August. However, in recent years, flowering has been seen emerging from as early as May in Jamaica. Flower buds always emerge first and it takes about 21 days to go from a flower bud to an open flower. Certain varieties of dragon fruit are self-pollinating while others require another variety for cross-pollination. Once pollinated, the dragon fruit forms at the base of the flower. The flower fades as the dragon fruit grows. The dragon fruit takes approximately 30 days to go from flower to a mature fruit. A dragon fruit vine will continue to flower and set new fruit throughout its fruit bearing season. In May 2021, flower buds emerged, followed by flowering and fruit set. I assisted in doing hand pollination, but did not do any for the second set of blooms, as there were an abundance of bees and flies. I had two sets of blooms, but only got a total of six fruits. I was very thankful and hoped for a better crop the next year. The dragon fruit post was 33 feet or 10.06 meters from a street light located at my gate. And in November of 2021, the bulb for the light was blown and needed to be replaced. This light had an incandescent bulb. In addition, because of its height from the ground and the high bogan villa edge near the dragon fruit post, the light from the lamp was almost completely blocked out at night from the dragon fruit pole. The lamp was not fixed until a few days before Christmas 2021 when the electricity company came and put in a new light post and installed a new lamp about 10 feet or 3.05 meter higher than the previous one. The new lamp had a number 58 LED bulb which emitted light that was extremely whiter and brighter than the previous bulb. And because of the new height on the post where the lamp was placed, the light from the new lamp was now shining directly onto the dragon fruit plants at night without interference from the Bogan Villa plant. In May of 2022, flower buds started appearing on the stem margins. It was noticed that for the first set of flower buds, most of the vines had two potential buds. Eventually, only one came into flowering and subsequent fruit development. Seven fruits emerged from the first flowering and within two weeks, a second set of flower buds started to emerge. But this time, some vines had up to seven flower buds along the stem margin. Despite the numerous flower buds, each vine ended up with only one flower, thus one fruit. Seventeen fruits developed from the second flowering. This was followed by a third set of eighteen flower buds emerging, but they are yet to develop. 
The seven fruits from the first flooring gave an average weight of 13.8 ounces or 391.22 grams. And the second set of fruits are now being reaped and have so far averaged 11.6 ounces or 328.86 grams. While I am still waiting for the third set of flour to open. Compared to last year's crop, this current crop has already produced 24 fruits, representing a 300% increase in the amount of fruits produced this year. Dragon fruit is photoperiodic, meaning it flowers in response to the length of the day and night. It produces flowers and bears fruit during the long day months of May to October that requires short dark night to produce flowers. It has been shown that controlling the day length or photo period by providing supplemental lighting can influence flower induction. The induction of flowering by manipulating the environment through the use of additional light is now a common practice for some commercial farmers in most of the drug and food producing countries of Asia as they have been able to get the plants to flower by exposing them to fixed hours of LED light for a specific amount of night in the regular off crop period, which now results in a regular out of season crop each year. With the continuous presence of this light for 9 to 12 hours every night on the Dragon Food Post, I am anxiously awaiting out of crop season to see if it will influence the production of any off season fruits as any fruits produced during that time would be confirmation that the nightly presence of the LED lights on the dragon fruit plants could be influencing production in the regular season and is therefore effective at the distance of 33 feet or 10.06 meters from the plant. This could be some support for an argument that it was the LED light that was responsible for the 300% increase in the number of fruits that were obtained in the 2022 crop when compared to the 2021 crop. If you have found this video to be beneficial to you, please subscribe if you hadn't done so before and to share and give it a thumbs up as well as leaving a comment below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.